What sane person would fly almost 2,000 kilometers from Singapore to Thailand in the middle of a school term just to sit in a mall with 200 other people and play with some plastic toys? Who would ever do that? Well, you guessed it. Me. some lunch and have ramen <laughs> yeah flight is in um, what time is it? two hours yeah flight is in two hours Since 2019, because of COVID, we are in Thailand. Yeah. Hey everyone, we are in the hotel. I'm just, we're just gonna relax now, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye bye. Good morning everyone! It's Friday and it's day one of Fly Champs. I am very excited today. I'd say today is the least pressurizing day because there's no Mega and no Zero 3. I'll tell you guys more about that later. But yeah, I'm really excited. We're going to change soon and we're going to take the train uh, to JJ Mall soon and I'll see you in a bit. We're in JJ Mall. We are kind of early because my first event clock is at 10. It's like 9.15 now. Anyway, see you later. Okay, before I start talking about clock, I'm just gonna talk a bit about the venue. Um, the venue was a really amazing place, honestly. The aircon was just at the right temperature. It was, you know, it was not too cold, not too warm and everything. Um, the tables were at the right height, and so we could perform um, normally. Um, so yeah, that was great.
Good morning, everyone. Today is day two of Fly Champs. Today, there's gonna be CBS and Mega Mix. Yesterday was a really amazing day. There was so many PRs, I think eight in total. And yeah, so I'm really excited for today. CBS and Mega Mix, um, the events that I pressure myself most for, but I'm still really excited to compete in those events. See you guys in the venue. Okay, so the first event of the day was 3x3, three three, and I had some goals for myself for this event. Um, I think firstly it was to get a sub 10 average. For a long time I had been trying to get a sub 10 average but that never really happened. Yeah, I was hoping for a sub 10 average and in doing so a female national record as well, which was held at which was at 9.69. And yeah, so those were my goals for 3x3 three three, and let's see how I did. <laughs> So after a great round of 3x3, we went to have lunch with Daniel and his mom, Auntie Angie, and yeah, that was really fun. And then after that was 2x2 skill and pyramids, events that I don't practice at all. But here are some interesting moments you might want to watch. Okay, so anyway, I got 6 PRs in 2x2 Scube and Pyraminx, so yeah, double PRs in every event, which was pretty good. And then after that was my main event, Megaminx, and yeah, I mean, this competition, I had been ranked 4th on the psych sheet for Megaminx, um, first, okay, these were the people above me, and Natapat had a 36 average, like, high 36 average, so I was like... I don't think I can podium at all, like how am I supposed to get a 36 average, my previous PR was a 42 average, so like how am I going to do it? And then, um, yeah, you can see what happens next, um, this is Mega Minx round 1, and there was still round 2 the next day, I mean finals the next day, and yeah, I hope you enjoy um, my commentary. <laughs> By the time it was Mega Minx, everyone had gone home because it was super late, it was the last event of the day, and the atmosphere was just so quiet, like how I'm speaking now, it was so pressurizing, you know. I think a lot of people might appreciate the silence, but I didn't. It was there was just no atmosphere. It's just like everyone was like looking at you, like you couldn't hear anything going on. It was just like the audience there, they were looking at you, they're taking like videos and everything, and it was so scary. <laughs> I'm just gonna set the scene for this. Yeah, it was really really nerve wracking. So on the first solve, I got a 38.97. It's not a PR, but it was a very decent solve, and I was just wondering, could I upload this for the next few solves? And then I got a 38.61 on the second solve, which was great because that was a PR. Then I got a 43 and 40 on the next two solves, which meant that I counted a 40, which was actually pretty satisfactory for me. But I really had to calm my nerves for the last solve to make sure I didn't count the 43, because that would be pretty much a disaster. I managed to pull off a 38, which meant that I counted two 38s and a 40, which gave me a 39.36 average of 5. Which somehow, somehow, was good enough for 3rd place in the first round. Not gonna lie, this ranking boosted my confidence a lot. So day 2 ended on a high note, but how about day 3? <laughs> Okay, so I actually made round 2 for all events except for Scoop, so that was definitely an accomplishment for me because I've never done that before. But honestly, the only thing that was really worth talking about on day 3 is Mega Minx Finals. I think all of you guys would be interested to find out if I podium. And yeah, I mean, it was very interesting and very dramatic <laughs> round of Mega Minx. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy my solves and commentary. Okay, but first, we need to talk about QWorks. Just give me 20 seconds. Cubeworks is a local Singapore cubing shop that has all the speed cubes that you could possibly want. And the best thing is, you get to try the cubes out before you buy them. They even offer cubing classes. So if you want to get faster at cubing, be sure to sign up with one of their professional trainers. Oh, and when you buy cubes from there, use discount code CUBA for a 10% discount off your order. Visit their store today. 
Now back to Megaming's finals. When the judge called, I got nervous and started to solve immediately. And this was a huge mistake because I hadn't even planned my full start yet. And so it led to this. And it resulted in a 47. And I knew that there was absolutely zero room for error in the next few solves. So the pressure was on for the second solve. This time when the judge called 8 seconds, I, well, I still started immediately. But I was definitely able to plan more this time, so it resulted in a 37. And then on the third solve, I got a 38. So I had high hopes for the fourth solve. But then, this happened. I knew that it was basically all over after the counting 42. All hopes of the podium were smashed. Right? There was so much pressure going into the last solve, and I needed my best possible average to even have a chance at podiuming. I stared at the cube cover, closed my eyes, took a deep breath, and went for it. The solve was so fluid. I was turning really well and I was spotting pieces super quickly. Yep, I podium. Hey guys, today is the day after Thai Champs ended. Thai Champs was an amazing competition, like so many PRs, and the Thai Kiwin community is also a really nice community, and they're all super nice, super friendly and everything. And yeah, it was amazing seeing uh, everyone actually, and the podium was super unexpected, um, but I'm obviously really happy I managed to pull it off. Um, yeah, and tomorrow I have to go to school, <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, that would be a bit anticlimactic, but yeah, Thai Champs was amazing. Really happy with all my results. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed um, watching my experience here. And yeah, thank you to these people for organizing. There are too many people, so I'm just gonna put them all here. <laughs> thank you to Tanai for delegating, the judges, the runners, the scramblers. Thank you guys for making this competition possible. Congratulations to everyone who broke national records or Ehong who broke the 2x2 continental record. Um, by the way, I was sitting next to Yihang in one of those. Thank you guys for watching to the end, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You go.